Ask Tom on Home Show. Emmanuel from Houston, Texas has some mold concerns. Well, he had a water leak um, from water heater uh, a couple months ago, Tom. And Emmanuel writes, we replaced the water heaters, but now I'm noticing, I'm noticing this, he says, potential mold beneath them in the bathroom. And he's also seeing, hey, I've got another picture he sent here too. I'm also noticing this uh, as well below. Emmanuel says he's getting pricey, pricey over the phone repair protocol guesstimates. He said he adds before I can get a mold remediation service to come out. Are there other more cost effective options, Tom? I'm not sure what he's talking about protocol to prepare it. Wouldn't you just go straight to remediation on something like this? That's not mold. Oh, well, That's first thing first. That's a of right. some kind. Okay. So to get into mold remediation company, you're just opening up a, a can of worms where you better be writing some big checks for no reason. Uh, clean the register. Mm-hmm. That's a little mildew up there. That baseboard that I see with that black stuff. Now, I don't know if this is true and I don't know who's using the bathroom. That looks to me like somebody's burning candles in the home, and that's a no. soot that's that's growing on top of that. And okay. it always happens right at the bottom of doors because that's where the air moves through there, and the soot will start to stick on it. You'll see it stick on metal objects too, like that register on the top. I think somebody's taking baths and burning candles. Now, if you want to write Tim back, Charlie, and tell him uh, that's what I would ask him to look at first before you go through any of this, fine. I don't think it has anything to do with the water heater above. In fact, I know it doesn't. But as far as that little bit on the register, I, this stuff just needs to be cleaned. Someone needs to go in there and clean it. You mm-hmm. do not have a mold issue. That's sitting right on top of the paint. So I could just, wipe that off with my finger. I've got his address. You want to go? Over? Um, <laughs> my finger's clean now. I wash my hands. I am Tom Tynan. I'm here to, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm but, here to but, wipe my finger on your egg mold. What? <laughs> right. I stick my finger and see if it's wet, which really yeah. is one of the things you should do to make sure that, right, if it's that wet, there's not moisture. Yeah. Right. So how do I, just for the record, how do we tell Tom whether it's mold or it's mildew? I would, I would tell him this. I say, listen, clean it up. A little bleach and water, clean the areas up, see if it comes back. And by the way, you could say on your answer, Tom said if you're burning candles in there, it looks like it might be soot. So if you're burning candles, stop because that's what it looks like to him. But it's just mildew because it's not coming through the sheetrock. It's on the metal register. It's not on the sheetrock. It's not coming on top of the baseboard. That's where something is settling down on it. So it's like a dust, so to speak. And that's what happens with candles when you burn them. Uh, and on the metal, there's no, nothing for mold to, to feed on. Mold needs cellulose to feed itself. It needs a wood product. That's why it usually comes through the sheetrock and eats the paper because that's a cellulose. But when it grows on paint like that, that's just a matter of cleaning it. Why it's there, I have a feeling there's a candle. And if not... It just needs to be cleaned once in a while. I think if he cleans it with a little bleach and water, it won't come back for a long time. It has, it l- it has nothing to do with a water heater. Right. But that That's set. Okay, so no real need to get mold remediation. But for... No. F- right. I mean, that'd be a waste of money. But, but does mold look different than mildew, Tom? Yes. But, usually so what, they're how like... How can we tell? Bl- they're usually like a... Uh, like a bruise, a black and blue mark that are very, very uh, much a circle. And they come through and they they start out kind of uh, vague, but they get stronger and stronger in color. And then they'll start to grow and there'll be circle spots all around. They don't grow like that. That's mildew because, and they come through the back. That's why I say they start kind of light colored and they get darker and darker because it continues to grow out to the front. And that's because it has to have that cellulose. When it's on a painted surface and you can take your hand and wipe it off, and I bet you can, you'll find a little black spot on your hand. Uh, it, that's just mildew. That's just cleaning. You Hire that out. Yeah. All right. You got a question? Yes. We can hire out an answer for you real easy. Go click on that blue Ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com. And then uh, it'll take you to this page. You can choose a form or the video, whichever one. You come to a page like this, you can go ahead and attach pictures. And like like here with the manual, that helped us understand exactly what we were talking about. So go ahead and do that because Tom loves to help you. And that's why we post a new one of these at, uh, at our Facebook page, our Home Show Radio Facebook page, our YouTube channel. And of course, homeshowradio.com.